Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So in this video, I'll be introducing you about terms which are used to describe different types of disease. So let's start. So you see, according to WHO, that is World Health Organization, we can classify disease on the basis of their rate of spread in four different types. Or we can say four different type of terms are used to describe a disease depending on the rate of its spread. So let's see now what are these four types. First one is endemic, second one is epidemic, third one is pandemic and the fourth one is sporadic. Now we will try to understand about each of these type one by one. So let's start from the first one that is endemic. If we talk about endemic, firstly you should know that this word endemic has been derived from Greek where the meaning of an is in endemic has been taken from demos which means people. It means the meaning of endemic is in people. Now you should know that this term endemic is used to describe a disease that is constantly present in a specific population or region and often at a low level frequency. Now let's try to understand endemic with the help of this picture. So this picture is showing us the constant presence we can say of a disease in a specific region, right? Or we can say in a specific geographical area. Now let's see the example of endemic. So you should know that malaria in African countries is a very good example of what endemic disease. It means malaria is a kind of recurrent disease or we can say the cases of malaria constantly reappear in these countries, right? That's why we say that malaria is endemic when it comes to African countries. Now let's talk about the second type of disease, epidemic. If we talk about epidemic, just like endemic, epidemic word has also been derived from Greek. But here the meaning of api is upon or above and damic has been taken from damos which means people. It means the meaning of epidemic is upon people or above people, right? Now you should know that this term epidemic is used to describe a disease that rapidly spreads, right? To a large number of people in a specific population or geographical area. And the spread of disease occur in a very short period of time. Usually the cases are reported above the expected level. Then we say that this type of disease is epidemic, right? Now let's try to understand epidemic with the help of this picture. So this picture is showing us the outbreak of a disease in a specific geographical area, right? That's why we say that this is epidemic. And in a very short period of time, the number of cases of this type of disease increase, right? over that area. Now let's see the example of epidemic. Then you should know in 1949 there occurred a small pox outbreak in US that represented an epidemic over there, right? Now we are moving towards our third type that is what? Pandemic. So let's understand about pandemic. What is pandemic? Again it has been derived from Greek where pan stands for all and demic has been taken from demos means people. It means the meaning of pandemic is all people. Now you should know that this term pandemic is used to describe the disease that rapidly spread over a wide region, usually among several countries, continents or all over the world, right? Now we will try to understand pandemic with the help of this picture. So here what we can observe, actually pandemic starts from the epidemic. Epidemic means what? That sudden increase in number of cases of a disease in a specific geographical area and when epidemic of a disease occur in a particular area then later on it gets spread globally. That's why we say that an epidemic becomes pandemic when the spread of disease is global. It means in pandemic there is a global spread of a particular disease, right? So let's see the example COVID-19 pandemic. We all are very well aware regarding COVID-19 pandemic that how it spread was global, right? So this was about pandemic. Now we are going towards our fourth type that is sporadic. If we talk about sporadic, again you should know that sporadic is derived from Greek and it has been taken from a word sporadikos, which means scattered, right? Now you should know that we use this term sporadic to describe a disease that occurs occasionally and at irregular intervals in a human population. Let's understand sporadic with the help of this picture. So you should know that sporadic disease as I told you, these are a very rare kind of disease, right? And if two cases of these disease appear in a geographical area or region, then they will be too much scattered that they will not be related to each other with respect to time or space, right? 
So let's see the example of sporadic diseases, tetanus, diphtheria, gas, gangrene, etc. These constitute the example of sporadic type of disease, right? So this was about different types of terms which are used to describe different type of diseases depending on their rate of spread. So I hope this information will really be useful for you. Thank you so much. Keep watching.